speakers, and a subwoofer if you wanted to. Really great, versatile. Yeah? Hey guys, welcome to a brand new episode of What's New To Goo. I'm your host, Chris To Goo with Alpine, and we're here to talk about what's new. So today we're gonna to discuss a topic that's been brought up to us a lot on social media, and it's really how to choose an appropriate amplifier for a particular subwoofer you have. And then we're gonna apply that method to our latest and greatest R-Series amplifier, the R-A90S six channel amp in five channel mode. Let's hit it. So you found a sub you really like, but you're not sure quite what amplifier to choose with it. Now we've always been focused on creating system value, which meant for us creating three separate families of products that made it easy for you to match amps, speakers, and subs. So if you really like the R-Series subwoofer, all you had to do was buy the R-Series monoblock and they'd work perfectly together. And that was true for our S-Series, R-Series, and X-Series of product. Simple, right? Well, I'm here to tell you today that you don't always have to match the RMS power of a subwoofer 100% every time. Yes, I'm here to tell you that our subwoofers can actually operate with as little as 40% of their RMS power rating. So to help better explain this power range, Alpine created a chart that we're including on all of our websites and our text sheets for our subwoofers. This power chart will let you see what the optimum range of power is for each subwoofer. So let's take a look at an example at this chart. So this is actually our S-Series sub. It's a dual 4-ohm sub that's rated at 600 watt RMS. Sounds fantastic and basically unbeatable at its price point. We designed these charts to kind of show with color that optimal zone of power. So at minimum, an S-Series subwoofer can take about 250 watts all the way up to 600 watt, which is its um, RMS rating. So the benefit of a power range is that it opens up its compatibility with multiple amplifiers. So you're not just limited to using the series of amplifier that matches the sub. The KTA200M Power Pack Mono Amplifier sounds fantastic on the Halo S-Series subwoofer. Alternatively, if you want to get the most you can get out of an, a Halo S-Series subwoofer, you would run a 600 watt S-Series monoblock amp. Makes sense, right? So the last thing you'll want to consider when matching up an amplifier with a subwoofer is of course the impedance or ohm rating. Ohm. Sorry, couldn't resist. I'm not gonna go through a thorough explanation of what impedance is, but when you're looking for an amplifier, uh, when you see the power rating, you wanna make sure that the power is rated at an ohm rating that matches the final ohm rating of the subwoofer system that you have. Because if it doesn't, you may not get the power that you're actually expecting. Now, if you're interested in learning more about impedance, just drop a comment and uh, I'll get somebody else to talk about it. So now let's talk about the star of the show, the R-A90S. So essentially, this amplifier has the versatility of a six channel, but the power of a five channel. It's a six channel amp that houses four channels of 75 watt at four ohm, and then doubles that power for the last two channels. When you bridge those two channels, you can get a whopping 500 watt at four ohm. Now think back to that S-Series subwoofer I was talking about earlier. You remember how much power it required? So at minimum, an S-Series subwoofer can take about 250 watts. Now if you do a little math, You'll discover that two of these S-Series subs ran in series at 4 ohm would be a fantastic match with a R-A90S. So if you're like me and you like a lot of bass and you're looking for an all-in-one amplifier solution, drop that 5-channel one-trick pony and try starting your system out with a 6-channel. Pair it with two of our new S-Series Halo boxes and prepare to be amazed. This system will not only knock off your socks, but when you're ready to upgrade your sound system to a 3-way active setup up front, or you're ready for more power in your subwoofers, this amp can come along for the ride. All right, guys, thanks for joining us today on What's New To Goo. If you like what you saw, be sure to hit the subscribe button and throw us a like. Be safe out there, friends, and tune in next time for What's New.